Craig, and we are at this uh, incredible Shelby Club. It's it's not that huge, but it's powerful, as they say with some Fords. Right. <laughs> well, Carroll Shelby back in 62 did something that General Motors or no other manufacturer did. He got the best group of engineers and hot rodders on the planet together right here in Southern California. And he put together a company that went out and won the World Manufacturers Championship yeah. in 1965. Shelby was basically a, uh, a subsidy of Ford. It was one of their racing arms along with, uh, with Holman and Moody who did stock cars. Shelby handled the sports car aspect of it. And all that history started several blocks away from us here in what is Venice. Ah, uh, that's great. So you, you, uh, you, you feel a personal stake with this? Oh, absolutely. I've owned, uh, I have an early GT350 and I've owned my car for going on 37 years now. Yeah. So I've been involved intimately with these cars for How old is the club? Uh, the club is 27 years old. It was founded in 1990. The National Club was founded in 1975. Yeah. Uh, the National Sack Club. Yeah. And they are the keepers of, uh, all the everything Shelby and Cobra, all these cars are serial numbered. Wow. They're all individualized, and we ensure that they are not faked. Oh, yeah. uh, if someone wants to buy one, uh, we can verify the car for them because uh, they've they've gone up substantially in value in these last yeah. 50 years. That's awesome. What's the uh, the uh, website for the club? LAShelbyClub.com. There okay. you go. And what do you drive? I drive uh, this 1966 GT350 right over here. And why that one as opposed to anything else? <sighs> Life's too short. <laughs> and I also drive this Boss 302 right okay. in front of us too. Which someone else is driving today. Uh, my son's driving okay. today. Oh, uh, there job. again, life is too short. That's right.